Hi everyone, welcome back. A uh, bit of a short video today, I know the last one was quite long yesterday, <laughs> um, so this one, one will be pretty quick. Um, I've done sort of a compilation of all, um, or a lot of the material online for 1942, so various strategy guides, um, just discussions and links to various things regarding 1942. Um, I thought this, this would be quite useful to some players, particularly beginners if they're looking for you know material to read or if they're looking to improve their game. Um, there's a lot of good uh, discussions and forums about strategies for 1942 specifically. So I've sort of compiled a good list here. I think it can get you started on some reading if you were if you were so inclined. Um, there's a few bits and bobs of just general information as well, but I'll, I'll go through it all quickly. I'll also leave the links for all this in the description if you wanted to just jump in and, and pick a particular one you're interested in. Oh, that's cool. Um, so first of all, obviously we've got the official Twitter uh, for 1942 online, which is pretty good. This is good for obviously just general game updates. Um, I tend to watch this fairly closely myself, just so if there is any major updates or news about the game, I can make a video about it and obviously um, update everyone in, on the channel. Um, so I'll probably watch that myself, but if you wanted to keep an eye on yourself, why not? Um, also, this is worth knowing. The I'm not sure if anyone knows about this. The official 1942 uh, Discord, which I'm a member of, um, it's got a lot of players on here, which is cool. It's got a lot of different sections that are worth looking through, like this, you know, sort of discussing discussion sections with strategies and that kind of stuff. Um, it's very active. They've got a lot of players here, and also they've got some very high level players as well. Um, they have Batisai, which is pretty cool. Um, he was like the top top one, I think. He was top. Well, yeah, he was top tier pretty much for a few months when the game came out. Um, it's just pretty cool. They've got a lot of just regular, really good players. So. Uh, Quinton is obviously online a lot. They've got um, Boston NWO as well. Very consistently top 10 players on here. And they're very active as well, you know, answering questions for people and that kind of stuff. So uh, it's worth having a look. Even the conversations in a lot of these just channels are really worth looking through because there's some interesting discussions going on um, with input from obviously the very top, top players, which is always cool to cool to read. So uh, the link to this is in the description as well if you want to join this and um, have a browse through. Um... I've linked some of the uh, sorry the uh, the rule books as well for the games. Now this is personally for me very interesting. I've only ever played the online game, so having some sort of actual uh, material from the board game itself was pretty cool for me. This, reading through this was a lot of fun because it's like it's just yeah a different feel to it. <laughs> but it's it's a good information obviously about the game. Uh, might be worth having this downloaded on your desktop as a PDF just so you can have a look through if you ever wanted to know some rules or whatever. But it's um. Obviously, it refers to the game version, the actual board game version, but obviously a lot of the information still applies to us. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Just looking through it. I've also linked the uh, Avalon Hill website because they've got rule books for all the different versions, which I found also fun reading through because obviously I've only ever played 1942 online. So 1941, whatever it's called, zombies, all this kind of stuff was, was fun to look at, you know, how, how the rules change. But yeah, that's all on there if you, if you were so uh, interested in having a look at it. If you fancied it. So one good thing I found as well is this forum um, on the AxisAndAllies.org uh, website. They have a forum of just specifically uh, 1942 second edition um, just posts. There's a lot of good articles in here or discussions um, about various things. Um, I see Rus Russian openings, uh, lots of posts on this. Um, also got uh, amphibious assaults, artillery. It's just all, all kinds of things you can imagine. It'd be worth you know browsing through this. Find a topic you're interested in, and hopefully, uh, yeah, you can find some useful information. There's a lot of good things on this one, um, but yeah, if you're a new player, this could be extremely useful for you. Uh, another one as well. Um, these are a few more specific um, articles I found about certain things, which I read through and I thought they were really useful. Um, this is one I had to climb the rank ladder by uh, Tawe. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologise if I got that wrong. Um, but yeah, just a, sort of a very basic um, breakdown of all the nations. A couple of do's, some don'ts. You know, obviously listed a lot of mistakes here, which are worth reading. Obviously, they're, they're very valuable to have a look through. Uh, it might make you, you know, reflect on your own game. <laughs> maybe add some things in and maybe some, make some improvements. So it's yeah, it's a it's a really good article. Um, lots of good information on there. Uh, also, there is another one um, by Black Elk. Uh, it's a complete strategy guide. Um, more in depth, this one. It goes into a lot more detail about various things. Uh, and again, a good thing to read through. And it's got a lot of good information in there. If you fancy learning a bit more about the game, then I would recommend it. Um, and finally, 
this has been going around. I think some people have talked about it on our, on our Discord as well. Don's essays. Um, now they're not specifically about 1942 second edition. I believe are they 1942 first edition or another variation completely, um, or the original. I'm not sure. But what I'd say that there is obviously these are essays, so they're very very in depth. Um, but they are worth going through. I think I would avoid the specifics of um, purchases because obviously the, the rule set we'll be playing on the 1942 online will, will differ from what he says in these informa- in these essays. But the general sort of overall strategies and sort of mindsets, things like that, it, it, it wor- well worth having a look through. Um, a lot of it is applicable to our game. Um, just, just various sort of tactics and strategies you can em- employ. Um, some, yeah, very interesting information in that. It, it was worth uh, looking through it. I was, I was quite, uh, I enjoyed reading through it. It definitely made me look at my own gameplay <laughs> and, and just think about how I approach the game and, you know, what I tend to uh, do each game purchase wise and, and so on. But yeah, so a lot of good information, but it's kind of scattered around everywhere. So um, yeah, I thought it'd be nice to get this all in one place just for ease if you guys wanted to um, do a bit of background reading the game as well. Now, a lot of this, I think some of this came from the official Discord itself because they've got their own. Um, where is it on here? Yeah, guides. They've got a few things here. Obviously, this links the um, the Black Elk Strategy Guide and uh, the Tarway one. Um, so they've got a, f- a little bit of information there, but this is there's some more stuff here, obviously, from from the web as well, just uh, general bits of info. But yeah, anyway, I hope that's useful to someone. Um, I definitely learned a lot from going through some of this, so I think it's well worth doing if you are keen on uh, improving your game. But yeah, there we go. Um, thanks for watching. See you later.